I knew that I had the connection because when I was growing up, my mom told me, your dad told me to tell you all that you're related to the guy that carved the rose window. And that's what they told him. His dad and his grandfather told him that. So I'm telling you all, don't forget, you need to go visit Mitch and San Jose. But I think at the time, the family had land around here because I know one of uh, my great-grandfathers, Macario, the first Macario, had land that hit the El Convento, the El Mission San Jose. Even this library is on Windsor, old Windsor property. From around uh, Mission San Jose, there was an acequia on the west side of the mission that went to that went north and hit the San Antonio River. Then the San Antonio River is on the east side of the mission and it travels up from that point where they hit all the way back to the mission San Jose belonged to Lado Wisa. In 1815, uh, Don Jose Antonio Wieser, one of the oldest sons of Pedro Wieser, asked the Spanish king to grant him the, the granary and the land around the granary because they already had abandoned the church and they needed a, a place to stay and they mentioned that the granary was in need of repair but it's repairable that we want to use it to live in and then in 1815, they gave him the grant. And I got all those papers, copies of the, the grants that they gave it to him. But he started asking for it in 1806. Well, he was in conception. And he asked for the granary there. But then, I think in 1813, that all the little battles that were happening in the Battle of Medina, and they, they just started using the conception as like a little gathered meeting for the soldiers. But then there's documents that he, Don Pedro Wiesel got property at all five missions because of the work he was doing. He, he was the surveyor, the, the main surveyor, the lands and whoever was here. Some He gave some to the Indians that were here and, it's, and most of it to the ones that were Spanish of Spanish descent. I found out that I came from Jose Carlos. And Jose Carlos was one of Pedro, Don Pedro Wilson's sons that stayed here in San Antonio. Well, after the 1840s, when uh, Conservation Society started buying the properties, a lot of people were displaced. And I didn't know that we were one of those people. My grandfather was living on um, San Fernando Cemetery Number 1. Where there's a little cemetery, then the courts are around it. But he lived in a house, in a corner house. Then my dad and his, well, some of his brothers lived around there. But some state, I think it was uh, Jose Carlos, my uncle, Guillermo, we said, and they stayed on this side of town because Guillermo married a Kuntz. And a Kuntz, I think, was either Polak or German, a lady, Catherine Kuntz. And they were from Espada or some Juan around there. And he, and most of them were in the service. Like my, my older uncle was Macario. And they always thought he was junior, but he, when I found out, he's uh, the third, Macario the third. But I pulled everything out and I found out that it was, uh, that my, our grandfather, was, our great grandfather was Macario. But I grew up and uh, Alison Apache Courts. By the time my mom told me that we were related to Pedro Wieser, I was already like in sixth grade and I was over here at South Cross. I was Leal, Armando Leal Middle School. The Conservation Society and the state or somebody wanted to preserve Mitch and San Jose and start rebuilding it and that's what they did. They started getting buying the people out displacing them because I found some stories that if you didn't want to sell or anything they would condemn the house and the church would make you move. <laughs>